All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Uh, so today we're going to be going over how to set up video campaigns. Uh, so video advertising campaigns, basically where you're paying for views on your campaigns. Uh, so we're starting here. We're in our power editor. Uh, so we're going to be running for Surfside PPC today. Our goal was basically, our video is going to be showing people how to make money on YouTube with their YouTube channel. And our goal was essentially going to be to get them to sign up. Uh, to our email list so they can learn more about uh, some of the things that we do here at Surfside PPC and then some more things about uh, earning on YouTube. So without further ado, let's uh, get started. So we're in Power Editor here. So we're, we use Business Manager. Uh, if you don't have everything, everything set up, what you need is your Facebook page. Uh, you should have basically a business Facebook page connected to a personal profile, and then you'll have an ad account for that Facebook page. Um, so when everything's set up, it should look something like this. Um, so when we come in here, what we're going to do is click on Create Campaign. Uh, so our campaign name, we're just going to uh, name it Video Views, and then we're going to do YouTube Earnings. Buying type is going to be Auction, and then here's where you change things. So our campaign objective is going to be Video Views. Uh, so our first ad set is going to be YouTube Creators. So basically we want to target YouTube Creators and then people who have an interest in working from home. We're going to set up two ad sets, just one ad, it's just going to be our one video ad. Um, and our YouTube creators, it's going to be a list. I'll show you the audience as we get into it. But it's going to be basically people who have shown interest in creating YouTube videos, in uh, video blogging, things like that. Our other ad set is going to be more geared towards work from home who have an interest in YouTube. So um, our, our ad name, it's going to be the same ad. So we're just going to do our YouTube video ad. And now we're going to click on Save to Draft here. So once we click Save to Draft, it basically creates the campaign, but it's just a draft until we publish it. Um, so we want to make all of our changes now. So we want to go into the ad sets and set up the targeting that we want to do. And then in the ads, we obviously want to upload the video and set everything up properly. Okay, so now we have our campaign open here. It's going to be video views, YouTube earnings. I like to set a limit on my campaign. So we'll just set it at $100, which is the lowest limit you can set. Um, so we don't have to do anything yet. We just have to click on one ad set here. Um, you don't want to click on review draft items until you're done publishing everything. Because when you click on review draft items, it's going to you know, show you all the changes you make. And then you can publish them to, to Facebook. So what we're going to do is click on our ad set and start adjusting the targeting. Okay, so our ad set name is called YouTube Creators. Uh, we're going to set a daily budget of $10 per day. Um, budgets really depend on what you're able to spend. I like setting budgets a little bit lower to begin with and then increasing them as we go. Um, so schedule start is going to be right now. Um, schedule end. So we're going to end the run on. We'll just end it right on Christmas. Um, so you definitely want to set a schedule here. Um, so I've said in past videos, setting a schedule helps Facebook pace your campaigns better so they can spend. Basically what they're going to do is pace your campaign from December 11th until the 25th. If you don't have a scheduled end date, what they're going to do is optimize for each day. Um, so instead of optimizing and saying, okay, Thursdays when we can get the most views for you, Sundays when we can get the, get the least views for you or something like that, whatever it is, um, what they're going to do is optimize each day. Um, so you want to set an end date because they'll be able to say, okay, Thursday's a better day than Sunday. So we're going to focus a little bit more on Thursday than we do on Sunday, uh, in terms of, you know, how often we're sending the ad out. So different things like that. Um, so it definitely helps, uh, to set it up like that. You could also set up uh, lifetime budgets and just, you know, have a start and end date. So we're just going to do daily budget, $10 a day, run it till the 25th. Okay. So our audience, so we like to use saved audiences. You can check our audiences tutorial if you're, if you're interested in learning more about that. Uh, so instead of coming into new audience and set, uh, setting everything up, we're going to click on the drop down arrow. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is YouTube creators. Um, so you can see it's uh, 3.1 million people is the size total of the audience. It's United States. We exclude anyone who likes our page already 18 and up. Uh, English language, um, and then we're targeting some some different YouTube audiences, but we also want to make sure that people have um, an interest in YouTube. So basically, people must match this YouTuber's audience, and then they must be a part of one of these other audiences as well. So Employers YouTube is actually a huge audience. People just set their employer as YouTube on Facebook because they're interested in that. Um, interest video blog, so anyone who has a video blog, anyone with interest in YouTube Live, or anyone interested in a crash course on YouTube. So we should have a bunch of people here that have an interest in YouTube and making money on YouTube and different things like that, how to get the most out of their channel. Um, so that's good. Now we're going to do automatic placements here. We don't want to do automatic. Um, so automatic is automatic going to include Facebook, Instagram, and the audience network. So we're going to do is click on edit placements here. Um, and instead of running on Instagram too, we're going to get rid of Instagram. And instead of running on the audience network, we're going to get rid of the audience network. So I just want to run on Facebook. So we're going to be running on feeds, instant articles, in-stream videos and suggested videos. 
Um, so you can do specific mobile devices or connected to Wi-Fi. I like to just leave these things wide open. Um, you can set up block lists if you want um, for specific content or publishers, things like that. You can exclude specific categories. We're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it wide open. That's fine. Bid amount, I always keep automatic bids. Um, so our ad set should be all good to go. We have our first audience created, Surfside PPC, YouTube creators, um, $10 daily budget. Uh, so now we want to go into our ad and get our ad all set up. Okay, so now we're going to set up our ad name. It's our YouTube video ad. Our Facebook page is going to be Surfside PPC. We're not running on Instagram, so we don't need to add our Instagram placement here. Um, there's a couple different options you have. So you can use an existing video post that you already have. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, you can cr We like to create an ad. You can do an ad with multiple videos in a carousel. So this wouldn't be bad if I had maybe three videos that explain some tips on YouTube. And then I got said, you know, for the rest of our tips, uh, come, you know, sign up for our email list. What we're going to do is add with a video. Um, so you can also do a full screen experience with Canvas. I'm not going to do that right now. It's a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more advanced, I'm going to do a separate video uh, for Canvas ads. So we're going to do an ad with a video. Uh, so what we're going to do is select our video here. So there's going to be some videos that we've already uploaded before. So I could upload some of these if I'm interested in uploading them now. What I'm going to do is upload my new video since I haven't uploaded it yet. So you want to come into upload video here. Okay, so our video uploaded here. Uh, we have our thumbnail uploaded as well. Let's make money on YouTube 2018. Um, if you see this little kind of warning sign here, uh, basically what it means is it won't run in stream. So in stream is uh, during a video when the video is running maybe 10 minutes in, 5 minutes in, something like that. They're just going to pause the video for a second, run a quick video ad, and then keep the video going. Uh, so those must be between 5 and 15 seconds long. So this will only run like on the news feed. It'll come in through the Facebook news feed, um, the mobile news feed, different things like that. Um, so it's not going to run in stream. So we're going to click on it, click select. Okay, so we have our video here, and we've entered our ad copy, so it's just going to be discover how to make money on YouTube and visit our website for five free YouTube strategies you need to use today. So now I want to show you kind of how to connect everything with your video campaign so you can actually drive results and drive video views at the same time. Now, if you just want to drive video views, if you're just trying to run a quick commercial or something like that, I would recommend not adding a website URL. Maybe you just promote your video. So if you're just looking for those video views, um, that's what you want to do. So what we're going to do click, is click on this box here and click add a website URL. So it's going to adjust the ad a little bit. And one thing you can do before we add the website URL is you can click on these arrows over here and see how your ad's going to look in different formats. Um, so it's obviously going to say there's, you know, it's not going to be used for in-stream ads, but you can see, you know, on suggested videos, it's going to come up like this after uh, people watch a video or while people are watching videos, uh, desktop, mobile. So you can see all the different ad formats uh, for what your video looks like. So you can keep adjusting this as, you, you know, as you want to. Um, so we're going to click add a website URL here. And what we're going to do is that we're going to send traffic to this page here where people come in. It says five free YouTube strategies you need to use today. Enter your name and email for our five free strategies. So ultimately, we're trying to get people to watch the video on Facebook, you know, kind of take an interest when they watch our video. What we want to do is open the video with something like, um, you know, we're going to go over how to make money on YouTube today. But make sure you visit our website. Go to surfsideppc.com slash YouTube hyphen strategies, which is our URL up here. Um, and then when they come into this page, they're going to be able to see, you know, this and enter their name and email address. Now I captured a lead. I got them to watch a video and they're going to be interested in more information. So that's kind of where you're, where you're going with it. Um, this isn't an actual, I mean, it's a real URL right now, but it's not going to be an actual page here. So don't come here to, to try to get our five for YouTube strategies. It doesn't actually exist. I'm just, I just made this fake pan landing page for the sake of this video. Um, so what we're going to do is enter our website URL here and you want to enter any tracking that you need to. Um, so what we do is we use the Google URL builder. So first we'll take our URL and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over into the campaign URL builder. Um, so this is how you track all your campaigns right into Google Analytics. So it'll keep whatever you had last there. Um, so we have our, it's our website URL, uh, surfsidepbc.com slash YouTube strategy. So our campaign source is going to be Facebook, our campaign medium. So now you could either do CPC. So that means you're running a CPC campaign. Um, you could do CPV for a cost per view campaign, depending on how you, you know, want to monitor everything. What I'm going to do is CPC because then it, it makes it cleaner for me because I can see where traffic's coming from and, and where I'm getting the traffic from. Uh, campaign name. So you want to name your campaign basically the same thing you have it named in Facebook. So if we come in here, um, let's just come to our campaign. Um, so it's going to say video views hyphen YouTube earnings. So now when it, you come in over here, you want it to look exactly the same. So we're going to do video views. YouTube earnings. So now we can track that right back to our Facebook campaign. And then our campaign term, um, it's going to be identify the paid keywords. So whatever you're targeting here, uh, you want to, you know, identify as your paid keywords. So for the first one, we're going to do YouTubers. 
Um, so that's going to be our interest audience. So I'll, I'll understand that when we're back in Google Analytics and I can understand, okay, the people who are in the YouTubers audience are definitely interacting with our ad better and filling out the lead form much better than the people who are in our passive income work from home audience. So that's kind of how you do that campaign content. So if you're running multiple ads, we're not going to. I mean, one thing you can try is to upload multiple video ads and just change the ad copy around a little bit. Uh, you could try different videos and things like that. Uh, it's 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 worth testing, but it's definitely a lot more difficult and you'll need a big budget to test that many different video ads. Uh, so I just prefer to use one video ad. So campaign content, I'm just going to leave blank because I know it's my video ad uh, for you know, my video views, YouTube earnings. I know that's the video ad I'm running. So now here's our uh, campaign URL. We're going to copy it. Uh, we're going to come back into our Facebook advertising, go back to the ad section here, uh, click on edit. So it'll have everything saved to where we were. And we would just want to come down to website URL here. Perfect. And now it's going to ask us for a display link, a headline, and news feed, dis news feed description. So display link, I like to just use, you know, my website. It's fine. Um, headline, so you get, you know, five free... YouTube strategies, and then visit our website to discover five free YouTube strategies. Okay. So now we have a quick little ad here, um, call to action. You could do learn more, sign up. Usually your call to action you want to match with whatever's happening on your page. So for us, it's just going to be sign up. Um, so. Actually, I'll keep learn more since I didn't really use sign up too much in here. I'm going to do learn more so when people visit my page, they can go in and, and realize that they just have to enter enter their name and their email if they want to give uh, get more information there. Um, so here's our it's going to use our Facebook pixel. Um, so what I would want to do is track this uh, form here. So now when people fill out this form, what I want to do is send them to a thank you page. Um, so then when people, you know, just a page like this, thank you, and then I'll track that page. Um, so when people come in and they fill out this form, I can track it with my Facebook pixel. And I can actually see, okay, people are watching my video, they're coming in, they're filling out my form. So that's definitely what you want to do. Um, obviously, if you have different conversion events, you want to set those up. Um, so now we should have our first ad created and our first ad set. Um, so we should be all good to go. So what we're going to do is click on Review Draft Items. And once we click Confirm, we're going to publish our campaign. So I like to do this. I like to publish it so they can start reviewing your ads because sometimes the ads take, you know, a little a little bit of time to get approved. They're pretty quick with Facebook, but I've had a few that take a little while. Uh, so now if we upload it, it's going to start pending reviews. So if I come back to the ad set, since I still want to make a couple, uh, or I guess I already have the campaign turned off, um, I would recommend pausing the campaign or the ad set um, because then it won't run yet. Uh, just to kind of make things even, you don't want this to start running. And then you, you know, enter a new ad set. That one starts running a little later. You want everything to run at the same time. So we're going to take this YouTube creators ad set that has the one ad in it, and we're going to duplicate it. So we're going to click on duplicate. It's going to keep all the same information as, um, you know, YouTube creators. If you wanted to create multiple copies, like if you want to target some different ad sets, we could. Uh, usually, depending on my budget, I'd target three ad sets. For this one, I'm just going to do two. Um, I like the two ad sets I have. So these are the two I want to run it to and just test against each other. Um, so the ad set name, um, instead of YouTube creators, uh, what we want to do first is come down to our audience and you know new audience and we want to do Surfside PPC home business. So now what we want to do is an ad set name do home business. Okay, so now our daily budget ten dollars a day. Everything is exactly the same here um, except the audience that we're targeting. Um, so we're still going to be targeting. You know we removed Instagram and the audience network. It's just going to be on Facebook. Um, so now we're targeting the right audience that we want to be targeting. Okay, so now the last thing we need to change. So we come in here. Oh, I accidentally created two, didn't I? Um, so we come in here. So we'll just delete this one. So we come into home business and we click on it. So we have the same video ad here. The one difference is we come back to the campaign URL builder and we can see our campaign term here, YouTubers. Um, so what I'm going to do is home business. So then I can track them separately in Google Analytics. Um, so it's going to be YouTube strategies, Facebook, CPC. It's going to come under the same campaign. It's just going to be under a different... It says paid keyword, but really it's what we're targeting in Facebook. Um, so we're going to copy the URL here, come back to our Facebook ads, uh, click on edit. So we're in our home business ad set here. Um, so what we want to do is change our URL because right now it's using the other targeting. Um, so now we just want to do review draft items again. Okay, and then click on confirm. Okay, so now if we 
get rid of the ad set, we can see we have two different video ads here. Um, we come back to our campaign. Uh, so we have video views, YouTube earnings. Uh, we have our two ad sets in here. Both are running at $10 a day. So now what you do is you just wait for everything to start getting some data. We're going to go to our campaign, flip it on. And once we do that, everything's published now. We have two ad sets. Each ad set has one ad. If you want, you can create multiple ads per ad set. Um, you can, you know, duplicate both of these ads and, you know, run different ad copy or something like that. Uh, you can upload more ad sets if you want. What I'm going to do is run these two and then as I start to get some data, you know, switch over to different ad sets and see if I can improve the data, improve, you know, the results at all. So we're going to publish it one last time and now we're all good to go with our Facebook video view campaign. Um, video views are, are going to come in frequently and pretty quickly. I've seen cost per three second video views, you know, as low as like one cent or even lower sometimes. So sometimes you can get a lot of views for, you know, a little bit of money. Basically what you want to do is keep altering what you're targeting so you can keep getting that you know this this dollar down and then you can keep driving more traffic to your landing page so we get people to sign up for our email list and get uh, some leads from our video so really get a lot of value from the dollars that we're spending so if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comments make sure you subscribe to our channel Surfside PPC and thank you again for joining us for another video tutorial